Hey everybody, Stevie J from AngryMarks.com. Bellator 85 just got over on Spike, making its debut following Impact Wrestling. The first ever Bellator on Spike TV in HD. And I'm so glad to see it, because I was watching these fights and recapping them on MTV2, and even on DirecTV, that's in standard definition. I don't know why. Couldn't get it in HD, even if I tried. So, it's a big thumbs up to see Bellator in high definition. And there were four good fights on tonight's card, so... Thumbs up for the action as well. Started out with Pat Curran and Patricio Pitbull Freire. They went the full five rounds with Curran defending his Bellator featherweight title. And he retained it. 48-47 times two and 47-48. I actually thought he won three or four of those five rounds, but I wasn't there judging, so I can't make that call. But he definitely was the better striker of the fight. Freire's face looked like hamburger by the end of the fifth round. And, I mean, his nose was bloody. His face was bruised up. I don't think he could see because the jabs were just coming with impunity. I mean, at one point, Curran just threw three straight lefts in a row, and Pitbull didn't block a single one of them. So, for me, a very good showing by Pat Curran. I liked his performance in this fight, and he retains his title. Second fight of the night was a light heavyweight quarterfinal. Mikhail Zayats versus Hanato Bablu Sabral. This one was kind of a surprise to me because I figured Sabral was the favorite coming into this. But Zayats landed a spinning back fist that hurt Sabral. Then he chased him down, pounded it out on the ground, got the stoppage from the referee. The official time was 4.49 of the first round. And Zayats advances in the light heavyweight tournament. Our third fight of the night and second title fight was Michael Chandler versus Rick Hahn. And I hate to say it, but Hahn just got outclassed here. Really no other way to put it. Sorry, I like Rick Hahn as a fighter, but... Chandler was just taking him down at will, and in the second round, he was slamming him to the ground with impunity, and the second time he took him down, he took his back immediately, sunk in the rear naked choke, and fell backwards, cinching it up tight, and Han just tapped so quick. This was one of those submissions that's just as good as a knockout. It was that fast, that deadly. Michael Chandler proves he's the lightweight champion and undefeated, now 11-0. and He proves he's everything he says he is. And a few things he says he's not, because he claims that he's still got improvement, but to me, he looked deadly in this fight, and if he's not top 10 in your lightweights, he damn well ought to be. Final fight live on Spike was another light heavyweight tournament bout. That was Jacob No versus Seth Petroselli. The Silverback was going for takedowns, but he got stuffed, and Noe got on him and just pounded him out. You know, Petroselli turtled up and Offered no defense, and uh, Jason Herzog was forced to step in and save him. So, 251 of the first round, the winner by TKO was Jacob the Psycho No. Now, there were other tournament fights and other fights on this card. I didn't see them because they aired on Spike.com, not on Spike TV. But, let me give you those results real quick anyway, because I'm sure you want to know. Here's what happened on the prelim cards. Aaron Miller defeated Joe Camacho 30-27 times 3. In a light heavyweight bout, Jason Lambert defeated Hector Ramirez via straight armbar submission 359 of the first round. Hang on a second. These results are scrolling down on my page. Okay, here we go. Catchweight bout. J.J. Ambrose defeated Brian Warren. Guillotine choke 50 seconds of the second round. Light heavyweight bout, Emmanuel Newton defeated Atanas Zhivazov, rear naked choke, 221 of the second. In a lightweight bout, Savat Young beat Mike Guyman by KO, 48 seconds into the second. In a welterweight bout, Joe Williams defeated Jamie Yeager, TKO strikes, 402 of the first round. And at featherweight, Clever Luciano defeated Mario Navarro, 30-27 times three. That's your Bellator 85 recap. I'm Stevie J from AngryMarks.com.